I showed you the, the demonstration where the little spheres are on that little shaker thing on the overhead projector. And if you recall, um, most of the molecules were sort of moving kind of in a moderate way. Some were moving slowly, and some of them were really moving fast, okay? The, if you plot the number of molecules versus their speed like this, you get something called a Maxwellian. This is Maxwell's law, right? Uh, a distribution of speed. And the, the derivation of this curve is beyond the scope of the class, but you need to understand this um, is that there, there's a fair um, number of these things that are moving really fast, okay? Really fast. That E got special there, okay? Okay. Some of them are moving really, really fast. Let me just go to the next thing here, right? And, and as you increase the temperature, right, the, the distribution gets, spreads itself out, and this gets, you get a lot more of the fast molecules like this, okay? Um, so much. And then if you also, also if you recall, um, all the molecules have the same average kinetic energy because that's the temperature. So the small molecules like hydrogen and helium, right, these gases, Okay, are going so fast that in the upper atmosphere, which is the hottest part of the atmosphere, the thermosphere, right, these things have escape velocity. They have enough velocity on the high end here, the ones that get bumped up to this really, really high speed there. They have enough velocity to escape Earth's gravity. Okay, Earth does not have sufficient gravity to hold helium and hydrogen. It's just as well, I suppose, right? Uh, Jupiter does, right? Jupiter is this gas giant. Jupiter is sucking hydrogen, interstellar hydrogen, in from space. Uh, and is gaining mass because of that, right? Very slowly, but but it is, right? Um, so so basically, you the helium, all the helium on Earth comes, I, I believe it comes from radioactive decay. Uh, something called alpha decay creates the nucleus of a helium atom, right? And then it just picks up some electrons, right? All of this stuff in the Earth's atmosphere um, is is uh, escapes, eventually percolates to the upper atmosphere, and it will escape from the Earth because there's not sufficient gravity uh, to hold it in, right? Um, and then the last thing I'd, I'd like to talk about, sort of loose ends here, right, is when the ideal gas law isn't ideal, okay? Let me give you an example here. If we solve for the volume of the ideal gas law, right, okay, it's going to be nRT over P, right? Okay, let's make it get really cold. At absolute zero, the volume should be, well, the answer is it should be zero, right? But don't molecules take up space? It can't be zero, right? So one of the assumptions of the ideal gas law is that the particles themselves do not take up any space. They are actual mathematical points, okay? So when the ideal gas law breaks down is when the intermolecular distance right, when the intermolecular distance is small. Okay. This is one reason is that that, that uh, ultimately you're going to get if you if you get it cold enough it's going to condense right. So when it when it undergoes condensation and does a phase change that messes up the ideal gas law and then ultimately those molecules even if it never condenses take up space right. So you cannot at zero temperature have uh, uh, zero volume which is not possible. Okay. The second thing that happens too is 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 uh, there are intermolecular forces called van der Waals forces that um, at certain uh, distances, I do believe that the, that the particles actually attract each other a little bit, and, and so you get a, even a little less pressure than you might think. And then, of course, as you start to cram the molecules together and, and increase the pressure, right, you actually get more pressure than you think because it's incompressible at certain volumes. So basically, just be careful. At very, very high pressures and at very, very low temperatures, the ideal gas law doesn't work so well. So just be careful. It's a, it's a rough world out there.